mid-August, mid-Ohio, round 11 on the two and a quarter mile road circuit where a good grid position is vital for a successful race. Tell us about your, your weekend in mid-Ohio, then, Nigel. Well, I mean, it's a great racetrack, uh, very challenging, very demanding, but of course it's a track where the Penske's uh, showed the dominance again. And um, when you think on a racetrack like that, that they could lap the field. Um, it just points out that they're in a class of their own. Qualifying yesterday was all but rained out. Qualifying times were taken from the run on Friday. And as a result, Al Unser Jr. took the pole. But as you can see, Paul Tracy snatched the pole away from him as they come to the first complete lap of competition. Mansell in the best qualified Lola being challenged now by two Renards. Remember in terms of winning two that Michael Andretti scored back-to-back -back wins here in 1990 and 91. And if you look back beyond this dueling trio here, Robbie Gordon is going to start to get in the picture. He's overcome problems he had earlier in the race and we're going to start to see him join them. Just good racing. Michael Andretti continues to thrash at the back of Mauricio Guzman's car. Whoa, look alongside Guzman. Here comes Robbie Gordon. Well, we just got through saying Rodney Gordon's going to be up there in a few minutes. And my God, he was. Boy, here is a key area now for all of them as they come slamming down the long back straight. Michael looks to the inside, tries to outbreak Guzman as they go into the corner. Guzman holds him off. He's not going to have any of it. Boy, that's some great driving on both drivers' part. now as he charges on Mauricio Guzman. They're battling side by side down that long back straight. Bobby Rahal is right there too. The leader's closing on seventh place, Bobby Rahal. And then they're lined up in front of him, fourth through seventh. Look at that line as they head through the first turn at the end of the pit straight now. now you notice little Al really putting the pressure on. Remember, he's trying to box Tracy in. Any place that Tracy goes, he wants to box. Here comes Gordon again, right alongside Guzman. Forces Guzman offline into the outside. And Tracy and Little Al come through as well. Now Little Al sets up to make a move on Paul Tracy. He's tucked in right behind. He goes to the inside this time. Now Little Al sweeps to the outside on the corner. And Paul Tracy takes the inside line. Yeah, the next turn is to the left. So if you can get uh, to the left of your adversary, you can get him on the next bend. Now this is sometimes, remember, what makes passing easy. Gordon makes the move on Nigel Mansell now. They come off the corner side by side. And Robbie Gordon has the line and the position there. But here is Paul Tracy as he screams down behind Nigel Mansell, who now runs in fourth place. It's awesome. Just think, he's absolutely lapping Mansell. This is something we hardly ever see. Then Tracy passed Robbie Gordon, who'd slid wide. An illegal maneuver, the yellows were out because of the stranded Tio Fabi's Reynard. Harshly, Tracy was awarded a stop-go penalty, and Al Anser Jr. was now safe from attack. Meanwhile, Nigel held off Raul Bazell for seventh, despite the handling on his Lola steadily deteriorating. And for the checkered flag, as Al Anser Jr scores his sixth win of the season and the 25th win of his career. And Penske were back to form with yet another 1-2-3 finish.